right now. Good evening. Welcome to Susan's Kitchen. We have an important holiday coming up called Passover. And one thing we're going to do tonight is make potato pancakes. The first thing we have to do is wash our hands. done, let's see if we have everything. The first thing we need, a frying pan, a food processor, a plate with a paper towel, cutting board, knife, a bowl, a spoon, salt, and the recipe really calls for potatoes, but the easy part, and that costs less and saves time, is the mix. I like to use strikes. Olive oil, pepper, onion, onion powder, and a pinch of garlic salt. Measuring cup. And one thing I forgot to bring out is one egg. The important thing with the recipe is to follow directions. So for one bag, I need one egg. Let me grab a fork. Now, I will break the egg into the bowl. Okay, so now I reach in one packet, and now I'm going to break the seal. Dump the mix into the bowl. So now the directions here say for one bag, one large egg, which I did, and I need one cup of cold water with the mix. Okay, now I'm going to measure it. It's a little bit much. Okay, I'm gonna pour it out, and where my fingernail is, it says one cup. I'm now going to come over and pour it into the bowl. Next ingredient is a little bit of salt. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in. Next, a dash of pepper. The secret to good potato pancakes is always in the onion. So I'm going to add a little bit of onion powder. Then a tiny pinch of garlic salt. Mm. Now to make it taste really good, we now have to peel one onion. This is what gives the Passover potato maca its flavor. So, I'm going to start peeling. Peeling the onion.
Now to cut the ends off. The rest I'm going to cut up, and to save time, I'm going to put it in the food processor. I save a little bit of onion for the pan itself. Okay, so a little bit of onion. I'm just going to set aside. I'm now going to walk over to the processor, take the onion skin, and this is going to go into the garbage. Okay, so now I'm placing the onion into the processor. A lot of like what we use at school. Now to put the cap on, and it's going to make a loud noise when I press. Ready? One, two, three. All done. Unplug. Take out, and now I'm going to take the processor. I'm going to walk over the mix. And now I will take the spoon and I will put and I will put this in. Now to mix it up. See the egg, the onion, the pepper, the salt, garlic salt, it's all coming together. Now, I take the mixture and I put it right next to the frying pan. Here's a little trick I learned over the years. I still have left a little bit of onion. I'm going to cut up just a little bit to put in the frying pan. I'm going to take the oil with me. I'm going to sprinkle some onion into the frying pan. And now this can go into the sink. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil into the pan. The trick is, with the onion into the oil, the flavor goes through the oil. I stir the potato pancake mix again. Okay, and I'm going to let the oil start to heat up. And I clean up as I go. And this ought to be hot really, really soon. This to me has always been a Passover favorite. And very soon, you're going to see and hear the onion sizzle.
how this is heating up. Oh, I feel the heat already. One thing I forgot is a spatula. We're going to need this to turn the pancakes. I could show you on the box what the finished product is going to look like. Now look at the onions in the oil. Look at how they're sizzling. So now I'm going to come over, mix this one more time, take a spoonful, and now I'm going to plop it into the oil. Press down, just to make it look like a pancake. Mmm, I smell the onion. When they're ready to come out, I have a paper towel on a plate to blot out the oil. Look at how they're cooking. Moving the potato pancakes a little bit, just to make sure that they do not stick. Mmm. As they're cooking, the onions are browning. The flavor of the onion is going to go through the mix. Let's see how they look on the bottom. Nice and brown. I think our potato pancakes are almost done. Let me take a look on the bottom. A little bit more.
Okay, now that they're done, I'm going to put these potato pancakes onto the plate with the paper towel. Look at how nice and brown that is. And with the rest of the onion. Turn your stove off and move the frying pan to the back. Remember, don't ever do this without mom and dad. Blot with a paper towel. And when it cools off, it's ready to eat. Have a happy Passover. Good night.